less than 20 minutes to do. I found it on YouTube, but I don't have all the ingredients, so I'm just gonna kind of make my own. I have most of it, but nonetheless, it, it's gonna be delicious. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you wanna do is chop up one onion into little squares, as small as you want, as big as you want. It doesn't really matter. Then you're gonna use a little bit of olive oil and you're going to saute that onion as well as minced garlic. I use the jar garlic because sometimes I honestly just don't have time to be chopping up garlic, peeling it, the whole shenanigans. So whatever floats your boat. If you wanna use fresh garlic, even better than the jar, but I prefer the jar for time's sake. So you want to mix it, make sure that it gets translucent, and then season it with Italian seasoning. Oregano works as well with a little bit of basil, anything that's kind of Italian based. Once the onion has caramelized, add the cherry tomatoes and cover the skillet so that they can start cooking. In the meantime, you're going to use two ounces of cream cheese. This is what's going to really thicken up the sauce that is going to be mixed with the onions, the tomatoes, the garlic. Ugh, it's an amazing sauce. I cover up the skillet and let the sauce cook. And once it, those cherries start to pop is when the magic happens. It is delicious. So I'm gonna add one fourth of a cup of water just to get a little more sauce. If you have vegetable broth or chicken broth, that works even better. I went ahead and also added three tenderloins because my people here love their protein. <laughs> so it's a great addition to this pasta recipe, but not necessary if you do not eat meat. I decided to use the penne pasta and I used a cup and a half but to be honest I would have liked more pasta it came out so good everyone wanted seconds and I didn't have any more I felt so bad so the more pasta the merrier It's time to check back on our sauce and chicken and look at this beauty. It starts bubbling, it smells delicious, it tastes delicious, and as my husband says, cheese makes everything better. So we're gonna add a little bit of pepper and some Parmesan cheese to top it off and mix it all together with the penne pasta and boom! You have a meal that literally takes 20 minutes to 30 max and everyone is going to love it. They're going to be asking for seconds, so make sure you cook plenty of it. Let 
Sky and the 